the emergency room here at Indian River Medical Center. Doesn't look anything like a police station, but deputies say this is where they're learning about so many crimes these days because for some reason, too many people in Gifford are no longer calling 911. This bullet right here actually went through the door. Aaron Galloway showed us the bullet holes in his Gifford home in the door, above the front window, on the side. More than 10 bullet holes in all. One made it into the house. Went straight through a loaf of bread, went through a toaster, shattered the whole toaster, hit the wall. We still haven't found a fragment. Galloway says it was early Tuesday morning before 1 a.m. He was in his room when the shooting began. I heard the glass shatter. I heard glass shatter and then like, I heard the bricks breaking. So I just hit the ground. A few days before, early Saturday morning, another shooting in Gifford, this one in the parking lot of Guy Coley's convenience store. It's shocking to me because we don't have that around here. Like I said, most everybody watches each other. And two other shootings over the weekend. One man hit in the leg, a teenager shot in the abdomen. Four shootings in Gifford in five days. And in nearly every case, nobody called 911. Very disturbing, very uh, disheartening. Major Eric Flowers says his investigators only learned of the shootings when victims arrived at the hospital. Now they're trying to figure out why people in Gifford aren't calling 911. It appears there may be more to the story that we just don't have at this point, and we're certainly continuing to investigate that. In Aaron Galloway's case, he says he thought deputies already knew. We seen police coming down the street, so that's why we ain't we didn't get out and flag anyone down or anything like that. So. But deputies believe in most cases it's because the victims also have something to hide. We believe there were other crimes involved in these cases, and because of that, people didn't feel comfortable uh, calling deputies to the scene, calling 911. Fortunately, all the injuries in these shootings were relatively minor. At this point, no arrests have been made. In Indian River County, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.